Hi everyone, welcome back to Calamity Hills. Today we're going to be in the neighborhood. Our trail leading up to our ruins uh, looks a disaster, um, so we're going to want to sort that out. If you're just following for the first time, um, we're creating Calamity Hills on the back of an apocalypse challenge, and for each career that is lifted, uh, we're trying to add a bit of neighborhood decoration uh, to the neighborhood to symb symbolize the career being lifted. And the ruins we put up there uh, a long time ago to uh, celebrate Ambrose uh, lifting the adventure career track. Uh, so we want to tidy them up. I've, uh, I've been messing around with those for long enough. But before we get to that, I want to uh, address some of the things that we did in the last episode like I do, um, we wanted to kind of raise the profile of the foliage a bit on that left-hand cliff. Uh, so we're gonna do that. I was looking at it and I, I really like these pink trees just because, you know, pink and pretty. Um, so I think we're gonna just add some of these to the mix and, uh, and see what happens. It's starting to look a bit of a, <laughs> we're getting a little carry, carried away on the foliage over here, but I'm thinking that since everything is pink and green, that this mix won't look that bad, but yeah. Everything is subject to change. So uh, yeah, let's, should we, we're just gonna go for it and uh, and see what happens. Let's circle the, kind of outline it, and then we'll come in and just dot a tree or two in the center. I'm not sure. Um, but we're gonna go with it for a while. And if we're going for it, we're gonna put it over here too. And, uh, and the next video that we have It'll be me taking up all of this stuff, you know. Gotta be consistent. And just outline it, I guess. I mean, how much more can you put in this area, right? We're gonna find out, cause uh, apparently there is no stopping me. And then up here, there are some people who just have kind of like an artistic sort of bent and they know what they want. They can envision it and then go and execute it. I am not particularly artistic at all. And uh, I have to really work at, at coming up with something nice. Or, or something that I think is nice. Uh, you know, it's going to be a nightmare trying to take out these trees if I decide I don't like them later. Oh well. Oh well. So yeah, I really need to. I need to put something down on paper, look at it, look at it some more, and, uh, and make up my mind that way. And... I know in my heart of hearts this is a this is probably too much. <laughs> um but I really like these pink trees. I don't know. It kind of looks pretty. It does not look realistic. That I know. If you have an opinion, you can uh you're welcome to share. I I'll probably disregard it and do whatever I want to do anyway. Um but I am interested in what you think. Yeah, that's enough of that. And the other thing that I noticed was when we put this little house over here, um, what house did we put over here? I think one of my favorite ones from the bespoke ones that I put together, this house. Uh, the scale is, is just like the scale of having this building over here. Look at that. I've never seen that happen before. Um, the scale of this barn is just 
I don't like it. So I think we're gonna we're gonna take up um, we're gonna take up these decorations over here. You know what? Maybe we'll leave the maybe we'll leave the silo and the silo. But I think the barn needs to go. Um, maybe we can tuck the silo right back here. Or right next to that road. Let's get the rest of these up. Put a wood stack back, some flowers. You know what I'm gonna miss though? Uh, that light, that night light. is it L in neighborhood view uh, toggles the camera those lights up there by uh, Cricut love them so much they add so much to the game having that little bit of light uh, during the night uh, but maybe we'll work out something out so let's try and uh, put some houses back in here see what we get do you know what What do I have in this lot then? What is this? Oh, I remember this lot. Somebody did, I downloaded this uh, from somebody, I think on uh, Mod The Sims. Uh, they went ahead and put a cute little garden here and all of the produce there is ready to be uh, picked. So your Sims could go visit that and get some nice produce all cheaty like. What else do I got in here? Oh, this is from, I can't even tell you how. I think this is from Just When Apartment Life came came out. So 2008, I love these. Uh, I always just played Pleasant View. Uh, that's my favorite neighborhood. And, uh, and I made apartments to match Pleasant View. Love them so much. I might have to rework these. Share them again. They were on the exchange. Um, but let's put in a house. Uh, what do we have? Oh, this one looks kind of farmy. Now, I planned on uh, making new houses for this whole neighborhood, but, but maybe I'll just uh, recolor and remodel some of the houses I already did. So maybe we can have our little village, a little house there. What else do we got in here? I love this house. This is the house that I was gonna put the Dagnes into, move them into this house. This is like my favorite house. That doesn't look bad, right? Again, this is just a work in progress. Um, uh, we're putting something down so I can look at it and, uh, and assess. Maybe we'll put some cornfields over here. Maybe. I don't know. Well, that house in the back, I really think I need to just build a farmhouse because that's not really working for me um but yeah do you know what I think we're going to uh change the directions we're going in we really I really want to straighten up this mess that I've been uh creating up here <laughs> um but from a building a neighborhood perspective, I think I'm really doing myself a bit of a disservice by not drawing in some roads here. Um, now, gameplay-wise, we have we're we're purchasing our houses um, with payments to the Life of Crime boss and eventually politics. Um, like we purchased all of the six little uh, six little townhouses up there, but. But I think we're just going to pretend that this isn't down here. I'm going to really quick go 
uh, draw in some roads uh, down here and see if we can't get a little bit of a layout. I think I think decorating without having any idea where you're going to put your houses um, is going to ultimately ultimately I'm going to end up having to redo a lot more than what I might have otherwise. Um, so I'm going to pause really fast and we will be back in just a moment. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> New roads everybody! Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, what, let's start. I'm holding down the escape key and just mousing over this to get rid of some of this uh, shrubby stuff. And uh, yeah. And I, I was probably in SimCity 4 for like a minute. I just went in, added some roads, trying to avoid making any intersections, uh, just because I don't like the boxed in look. So I've tried to have it like be a continuous road um, that doesn't uh, create a box. Uh, that's just a personal preference. Now, up here, I think it took me, I don't know, like seven or eight tries to get this um, worked out because I was building the roads around what I wanted. Like, I wanted, I wanted the houses up here staggered so you could see them. Um, I want a low graveyard here um, so there's nothing too tall obstructing the view of the houses. In the center here, I want our tall municipal building. Up front here, I want a flat uh, green space. Um, all of that was by design, and it took quite a bit of uh, working out to get that done. Uh, but this time, I just, no planning or thought at all, I just went in and drew in some roads, uh, just trying to avoid this area over here with our farms. And uh, this is the result. And now we have something to work with. It's subject to change. Uh, but yeah, uh, first, first let's, uh, flatten out this ground a bit, right? Right. Now I always have the, um, I just keep the terrain tools on these days. I think it's modify neighborhood terrain on. And now I'm using the backslash key and that's going to raise this terrain up. Flatten it out, which is good. I like that. And do we want to do the same over here? I think we do because we might, we'll probably want to put some houses over there. So again, I'm doing the backsplash to, oh, do we like that? Oh, I don't know, guys. Let's, um, let's bring it up. Let's bring it up. Um, again, I'm going to use the black splash and yeah, backslash. Um, do you know, we can actually work with this over here. Maybe we could have, we could just have guardrails along this edge of the cliff. Which I like very much. So maybe that, I wasn't, when I was putting this in uh, SimCity, I don't have the current map that I have right now. I have the original map, SC4 map, to work with. So none of the terrain changes that I've made to Calamity Hills show up in SimCity 4. So I wasn't expecting this to uh, run into that cliff like that. Uh, when I drew it out, it looked like I had plenty of room. Um... flat and bring that up. Maybe that. And let's select this and I'm going to hit P and that's going to smooth that out. Let's get a little bit more of this. And again, I'm using P to do this.
And we probably don't want to leave this crater over here. Uh, speaking of craters, do you know what I forgot about this map? We have a bit of an Ungoro crater over here. Uh, that's where, that's like Bigfoot Hollow in in the original on the original map. We'll want to smooth this out, but we could pro potentially have a train going into that. We could have like a little tunnel and a train going into here. That could be fun. That is a that is for later. I noticed it the other day, um, off camera, I've been, sorry about the camera going wonky there. Off camera, I've been working on smoothing out these, the mountains and making them more hill-like and bringing the elevation down some, uh, just so it looks nicer, uh, particularly in lot view. It'll look smoother and rolling green hills, rolling grass-covered green hills uh, aren't a bad thing. Uh, but this is, so I guess we don't have, I guess, let's, um, let's plop in some houses and see what we have, because that was the whole point, right? This house is cute. Maybe we can have a couple houses going this way, so we could put, I like this house, but I don't like that day glow trim going on there, so I'm gonna have to recolor that, if we keep these houses. I went to... Um, to attempt to build our bar loft the other day. And yeah, I think in my mind's eye, what I wanted to accomplish, I figured a one story uh, bar that kind of uh, terraced down the hill a little bit with the balconies. Uh, and I thought it'd be absolutely beautiful, but I'm having a real hard time. Whether I start building from the top and build in like a basement level or whether I start from the bottom and build up uh, it's just not the game isn't allowing me to do what I envisioned so so this might be a lot less ambition ambitious than I wanted it to be we'll see I also didn't feel like building and I didn't spend much time on it but once I get into a building mood I'll go in and we'll see maybe we'll do more I'll do some custom builds for this lot. Uh, this is a cheap little house. So we can have a couple houses there. Do we length this, these roads? Well, let's keep adding some, uh, some placeholder houses and see what we come up with. Oh, uh, I like this house. Yes, please. Cute. And what other one? This one? It's kind of looks a little fat. Let's move this one over. Yeah, I like that. Do you? Maybe that trailer looks a little out of place. But that's what I kind of imagine over here. Now, up top, I imagine the all of those houses kind of uh, being built at once as, you know, kind of a little boom period. And then as people move in, they kind of, uh, over time, customize them. Uh, but they were all, at one time, the same basic house. And I like that. But for our little suburbs down here, I want a mix. A kind of a cent mix of houses. Uh, maybe we go over here. Oh, uh, what do we got? Oh, uh, I like that house. I like this one better. This is one of my favorites. Again, not sure that... Well, maybe it doesn't look too bad over here. Oh, no, that looks good. I'm looking at the trim. You know, anything that's a kind of fluorescent has to go. What color did I use up here? Let's turn on Bullprop. And Bullprop, I do have an alias set for that because I use it so much uh, when I'm creating. Let's go uh, check in on the Dagnies real quick. Perhaps real quick. Oh, and do you know what? While we're here... I want to get rid of these trees. I was playing around when I played them of trying to come up with a cohesive uh, 
landscaping scheme for each of the houses, but that didn't work. Uh, what did I want to do? I wanted to see what color this trim was. It's light. See, now I thought the other was light too. Exterior light. Windows. Exterior light. Because I didn't think this color trim looked bad from Neighborhood View. Did you? Okay. Let's save that and get back to Neighborhood View. Here's Andrea and Booker in their, uh, in their little spa. With those cheeks that hopefully, hopefully little Una will, uh, carry on with her plump little cheeks and we'll have no more gaunt, hollow-cheeked Dagnes, we will see. Uh, so what was that? That was oak. And what is the color of trim down here? No, that was light was the color of that. I think I used oak down here. And this color is... is light. So what is it? I guess it's just a matter of where the light is that makes this look so bright. The neighborhood light. That's unfortunate. What other colors do we have? Pine? Pine would work, but I'm afraid we might have the same problem. I don't want to do it all in oak because I really like the contrast. You know what? This is a problem for another day. I, I am not going to build with you guys because I'm crazy. Like, <laughs> it takes me forever. No one is going to want to watch that. You got a little sneak peek of it. Okay, so what we were doing, we were trying to fill out some houses. Um... Yeah, let's do another kind of nice house. This one is nice. Yeah, this one is nice. Do we want to move this one over? Let's, uh, let's get rid of this hole over here. That's what I was doing when I got distracted by uh, remembering that we had like a little Ungoro crater. Maybe I'll try, um, and I'm using P right here. Cause I don't, we don't need to completely flatten out the, uh, the landscape back there. Because if I'm not putting houses back there, then I don't want it completely flat. And, do we want maybe a house right here? I kind of like them staggered so they don't... Oh, where's my Victorian house? I love that one. Oh, that's another... That's another unfortunate trim. Do you know what? Maybe we could have a park in the center here so we didn't... Um, so we're not blocking those back rows of houses. Maybe we can have this house right here or even over, over here. We'll have, uh, if I use these bespoke houses, they're definitely gonna need to be recolored. Cause that, that bright trim really sticks out and ruins the look. This is like my favorite color combination. Uh, how many houses is that? One, two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine houses. Plus six up here is 15 houses. 16 plus the bunkhouse, which is a four bedroom efficiency apartment. Um, now this area right here, I think, I know I went ahead and told you that I wanted this to be our kind of waterfront section. Down here, I want to where is uh, Cricut again? Such nice stuff. 
she has these little pieces right here. And I thought, I guess we're gonna have to do some terrain work to get this to work. Um, I thought we could have like a little um, uh, promenade instead of, how do these work? Ah, uh, like this. I thought we could have like a little promenade instead of a building. So we, when we looked at the town, we wouldn't be trying to like, oh, you know what? I think that looks nice. What do you think? We could have, we could kind of carry on like the little farming section over here. Um, Maybe we could put a big old decoration over here. Well, not a city building, but something. What do we have? Well, I guess maybe when we top a career, we could put something there. Do we have anything? We might be doing more custom content shopping. I don't know. But we could put some neighborhood deco back there, I think. Even uh, even a big rock, if nothing else. And we'll do a waterfront down here. And I guess we should probably wait until we have we lift a restriction, and then that will count as the waterfront. <laughs> that will be the decoration we had. So let's get rid of this. This is for the future. But uh, and some nice boats on the lake. Now, I said this road layout was just something uh, quick and temporary, but I actually, I think it'll work absolutely fine. I like it. We can see all of the houses. There's a good number of houses. And then we still have this plateau up here that we can uh, cram full of houses. And of course there's room here if we wanted to, but I like, I like all the open space. That gives us plenty of room to decorate down here. I like the guardrail on the back of that cliff. What does what does the neighborhood look like from these houses? Let's see. Oh, come on. This is ridiculous. I like this. Oh, look at that. Who wouldn't want to play this house? Everybody would want to play this house, right? Look at that. That's beautiful. And the advantage of having these houses spaced out like this is that you get a glimpse of them, but they're not so close that that the lot imposters are going to be, you know, like completely distracting. We'll put up some more some more stuff. Uh, maybe some shrubs around here, a couple trees, so it'll kind of hide the low, the low res look of the houses. Uh, maybe a park over here, maybe a playground over here. I do like this. I think, uh, I think we, uh, we hit on a winner here. take a look one more time and I don't think I have two videos now that I have to splice together so that should be fun <laughs> uh, yeah I like it I think I think we did a good bit of work today um, now again I don't know if we're gonna keep these houses if we're going to uh, we'll definitely have to make them over if we're not gonna build custom houses for the neighborhood. But for the next little while, I want to leave them in place um, just so when I'm looking at the neighborhood, I can decide whether or not I like it. Uh, right this minute, I like it, but you know that doesn't mean much <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. And what about over here? Let's, uh, let's delete that house because it's ruining that, uh, that trim is ruining it for me. Mm. 
Yeah, I like it. Like it a lot. Maybe. Maybe those pink trees are too much. Maybe the roads are going to change. Maybe the houses are going to change. Who knows? But I think we did a good bit of work today, and that is going to be all. When we come back, um, our next video, we'll uh, head back to the tower. And then for our next building video, we will do what we wanted to do in this one, and uh, that is tackle our ruins. Okay, that is going to be all. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll come back for the next one. Bye-bye.